Pleasure. Thank Judge, you thank you. Us. Congressman Paul launched this new campaign in Exeter, New Hampshire, so he knows firsthand what independent-minded free staters want to hear in Saturday's big New Hampshire Republican primary debate. We turn now to New Hampshire State Senator and former Air Force pilot Jim Forsyth, who chairs Ron Paul's New Hampshire campaign. He joins us now from Manchester. Senator Forsyth, it's a pleasure. Uh, welcome to Freedom Watch. Thank you, Judge. Thank you for having me on. How does Ron Paul take 22 percent in Iowa and turn that into 40 plus percent in New Hampshire with just the five or six days remaining? Well, I think, first off, he doesn't have to turn that into 40 percent to have a, a, a campaign uh, you, because, like you said, he's got a great national campaign. He's got to do well here. Um, and we're poised to do that. We've got uh, quite a number of volunteers that are making calls, quite a number of people knocking on doors. Uh, he's been here consistently throughout the campaign, uh, spreading his message. So um, we've laid the groundwork, and we're going to do everything we can to, to have him do as well as possible here. All right. Uh, correct me if and I'm I, wrong. I wanna... in, in independents who are neither registered as Republicans nor Democrats can show up at the polls next Tuesday in New Hampshire, declare themselves to be Republicans, and vote for whomever they want. And you also have a group of people up there called the Free Staters, people who have this idea that maybe New Hampshire will secede from the Union or some people will secede from New Hampshire. Can all of those people vote for Ron Paul along with regular old-fashioned registered Republicans? Right. Any uh, independent, any Republican can vote for him. Uh, Democrats would have had to change the registration, and that actually has happened. Uh, there have been some people that were very disappointed in Obama. They didn't get the change they thought they were going to get in foreign policy, um, and so they're, they're supporting Dr. Paul. You uh, are not only a state senator. Uh, you are a professor in aerospace engineering, and you're a former fighter pilot uh, in the Air Force. Question, Senator. Uh, how, how does... Go ahead. Go ahead. Did I say something wrong? Uh, yeah, I'm not a fight. I wasn't a fighter pilot. I was a uh, refueling aircraft com aircraft commander. KC-135s. Okay. okay. Uh, congratulations on uh, on that work, Senator. How does the military feel about Ron Paul? Stated differently, are you surprised that more contributions come from active duty military to Ron Paul than all the other Republican candidates combined? I'm not surprised. In fact, I was together with a number of volunteers last night, and I had a gentleman come up who's uh, here making phone calls, shake my hand, and, and thank me for my service. And he was in the military, and he said, you know, all his friends were really excited about Dr. Paul. Um, you know, when I was in the service, I served overseas, and Dr. Paul understands what a lot of people don't. There's a big distinction between military spending and defense spending, and he's someone who understands that. And um, that spending money overseas makes us weaker economically. It also does nothing to strengthen our defense, whereas having, having uh, our troops here at home does that. We've been closing bases in the United States and opening them up overseas. That makes no sense from a defense standpoint. How would Ron Paul defend America, Senator? By, like, like I said, by, by, um, if we pull some of our troops back or, or most of our troops back from overseas, back to the United States, that would be a much stronger defense. And, you know, I think the biggest threat we're facing right now is, is to our economy. Um, and and the, the cuts he's proposed in the military um, are not going to weaken our defense. We're st we'd still be four times spending as, four times as much money as China, the next biggest military power. Uh, but it would do a lot to strengthen the economy. It would send a strong message that we're serious about the deficit. We're getting it under control. And I think we'd see uh, you know, a return to, to prosperity if we do that. New Hampshire State Senator Jim Forth, uh, Forsyth. Senator, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. The revolution continues.